Hey Pisces, I'm not mic'd, but I will be. Good morning, happy Sunday. All right, Pisces, let's just dig, guys. Let's just dig, why am I here? I'm sorry, ooh, ooh, ooh. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Just a quick message for Pisces. I'm getting a collective chill. I don't know if I'm getting a collective chill, anxiety, or what. Pisces, that usually happens when it's home. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Either that or I'm just out of breath. Because I ran up the steps. Hmm. Holy Spirit. For Pisces. What do we have? We have somebody who's a natural born leader. Who's trying to see the bigger picture in something. This could be an entrepreneur or something like that. Could um, They're very career focused. But right now they're very confused. With what's going on. With the whole situation. They're rethinking everything. They're, 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 their judgment is clouded. This person here. So they're soul searching. They're trying to see what they want to do. Trying to find some truth, spending time alone. They're also dealing with some financial loss, guys, right? So whoever I'm talking to, you got some things going on right now. Could be dealing with some money problems, soul searching. Probably dealing with some chaos, trying to get answers on everything. But you definitely focus on your career. Everything else is just in your way. You're not speaking up for yourself when it comes to a certain situation. Your energy is low right now, right? You're in some type of connection. It could be a job, a tradition, something like that. But you're in some type of connection that you're trying to get clarity on. It's like you really don't know. You may be thinking about getting a divorce because it's an unfair situation. There's a lack of accountability in here. A lot of dishonesty. So, we have a queen here. Somebody who's very nurturing, practical, financially. So, whoever I'm talking to, you're dealing with a lot of anxiety right now when it comes to this connection that you're in. And you're not speaking up for yourself. But you're ready to drop these burdens. This could be, you're ready to drop your burdens. You're probably ready to drop your burdens with the Sagittarius. Sagittarius is here a few times, Pisces. Either that or the Sagittarius is ready to drop you. Somebody wants new beginnings. Yep, new beginnings, new opportunities, new growth. But they're up in their head about it. This person here is the Queen of Pentacles. She's just dealing with a lot of, she's an abundant person, so she's, Managing multiple priorities. Just trying to balance things out. Trying to balance a decision. What else is going on here with this person? Yeah. They have a lot of negative self-talk. But they're releasing some pain. They're definitely moving on, Pisces. If this isn't you. Yeah, they're going to take all the courage they have. And resilience to go forward. They're taking this is their last stand. A woman's walking away from you, Pisces. I think it's a woman walking away from a Pisces male. She's setting clear boundaries, clear-minded, very clear. This person is going back to something. Unfinished business, she could be going back to something. Either that or that's you, Pisces, going back to something. Something didn't work. There was no victory here with this heartbreak and everything. And you could be bored in that situation, Pisces. But I also think you're married to it. Or maybe you, you want to marry this person here, this Queen of Swords. You can see marriage with that person. Yeah, that's the Empress. That's who you're trying to get to, Pisces. Pisces, you want new beginnings, but you're having a hard time standing up for yourself. Uh, possibly because you're going to lose some financial loss if you walk away. So you're kind of hesitating. Yeah, but you don't want nothing to do with that past. It's like you're still living in the past, Pisces. But you're thinking about leaving home. 
You feel my little rigid. Pisces, I think you're scared to leave. You're definitely ending the two of cups to go offer your cups to someone else. But you do have some fear in doing so. Holy Spirit, anything final for Pisces? Yeah, you're ending something. You're choosing the lesser two evils. Like, there's no right or wrong choice. It took you a while to get here, Pisces, but you are. You realize what you were in. It wasn't going anywhere. And you're choosing to break this cycle. You're going to release your worry. And eventually reach out to whoever it is you're trying to go back to. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Yeah, there you are. There's a chariot right there. Pisces, you're going back to something. There we go again. Uh, Eight of Cups in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. You're going back to something, Pisces. And that's your energy. I believe that's your energy as well. Well, it's, it's, it's Pisces, but it's Pisces Aquarius. So it's right on the cups and then that's Pisces. So Pisces, you're going back to something. You feel like you've been manipulated. Yeah. Pisces, you have a lack of direction right now. Whoever you are, you need to fix it. You have a lack of faith, a lack of trust. You're disconnected. Pisces, when you're feeling restless, you're unfocused. Pisces, you need to fix this. This is that Aquarius energy again. Pisces, you need to fix it because even if you're trying to go back to somebody, you can't go back to that person with all of this angst. That would be unfair to this person. You need to settle those energies, Pisces, before you go back to anybody. Right? You emotional, baby. Pisces, settle these energies before you go back to anybody because it's not unfair to them. Because you'll take all that energy to your new person, still pining or trying to heal your heart from this person, feeling lack in your depression. And that's not right, Pisces. Okay? All right, guys. This is that reading, and I'll be back. I got to go hit the streets. Peace.